hello everyone welcome to the youtube channel of dcc nita so in this video we are going to discuss the problem b monsters which came in educational code forces round 150 so in this problem uh, monocarp is uh, playing a certain game and there are n monsters numbered from 1 to n and the ith of them has ai health points now monocarp has some special ability that deals k damage to the monster with highest current health and if there are multiple monsters with highest current health then the one with smaller index is chosen now if a monster's health becomes uh, less than equals to zero the monster dies and now monocarp uses this ability until all the monsters die and we we are asked to determine the order in which the monsters will die so this problem requires a small observation and it's not that hard let's take a random test case and find out that observation so here i have taken a random test case the value of n is 6 means there are 6 monsters and the value of k is 3 now let's apply these operations until all the elements in the array becomes lesser equals to k means here it should be lesser equals to 3 so in the next step uh, we will target the monster with health point 9 so now our array becomes uh, 1 comma 3 5 and 7 8 and this 9 will decrease by 3 so it becomes 6 so now in this step we will target the monster with health point 8 and priority becomes 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. so the value of 8 decreases by 3 and it becomes 5, 6. So now uh, the highest health point is 7, so we will target this monster and reduce his health point by 3. So 1, 3, 5, then 7 reduces by 3 and becomes 4, 6. Now the highest is 6, so let us reduce it. So now 6 reduces to 3. Uh, again in this step, we can see there are two monsters with highest health point. The health point is 5 and there are two of them. So let us apply the operations on both of them and the array becomes comma 3. Now 5 reduces by 3 and becomes 2. 4 and actually next step uh, again this 5 will reduce so I am writing it together you can understand this uh, so 5 reduces by 3 and uh, becomes 2 which is 3 uh, again the highest health point is 4 so in next step we will reduce this Okay, so now we can see the health points of all the monsters is lesser equals to. So now we can make some observation here. So in this, uh, in, in next step, uh, in this scenario we can see there are two monsters with highest health point. There is three. One is this, and another is this. So the first monster to die will be this one, the one at second index. This is because uh, the question they have mentioned uh, we have targeted the monster with the one with which has uh, lower index. So let me write once order. So this was the first monster to die, and if we observe the original number that was in this position, that was a multiple of this uh, three. So basically this uh, number modulo k was 0 
and similarly the next monster to die is 3 and again you can see the originally that number was 9 so we can see the 9 modulo 3 again that becomes 0 so you can see that first uh, the monsters uh, whose uh, health points modulo number that is k is 0 will first die so so the order be, uh, the order will be uh, first we'll target the monsters whose uh, modulo with uh, health point modulo k gives 0 now let me modify the array. okay so so the next one will target uh, the, uh, will be this uh, this monster at third index and the second last index so now we can see originally that number was 5 and here the original number was 8 and both of these uh, with uh, when we apply the modulo operation with 3 becomes 2 so basically now it uh, it gives uh, k minus 1 as modulo so at a second step uh, the monsters so whose help point modulo k uh, gives k minus 1 will die so let me modify this here again Okay, so finally we are left with only two monsters, one at first index, another at fifth index, uh, sorry, fourth index. So now let us observe the original numbers. The original number one uh, number was one, and here it was seven. So again, we can take the modulo, and we can observe that one modulo three was uh, two, and sorry it was uh, one and uh, seven modulo three also gives one so now we can get uh, finally updated area as minus 2 so now we can see all the monsters have uh, health points less or equals to 0 and the ones at this position that was at uh, First position that was one and the fourth position that was seven and their mod uh, health points modulo three gives one which is k minus two so i can write here k minus two so we can uh, see a pattern there so first of all uh, the health points uh, modulo zero those monsters will die first then those modulo gives k minus one then K, K minus 2 and so on so we have to just basically sort this array based upon the modulo uh, the modulo operations and uh, we can easily print this let's see the implementation so here first of all I have taken the inputs n and k and I have declared a vector of pair of ints and we will see this later how I am implementing now I have implemented uh, running a loop till uh, n and taking the inputs of the monster's help point and checking if the modulo with k is zero. So as you have seen, the if uh, help point modulo k is zero, 
this will be the monsters uh, first monsters to die so i am directly printing this i plus one as this was zero waste loop and if it is not then i am pushing the the pair in the uh, x modulo k which means uh, l point modulo k along with their index into that that vector of pair of it so after i am done with this uh, then i will sort this vector and I made a custom comparator for this as well. So, so here first I am checking if uh, the help point modulo k is uh, not equal for two monsters. Then uh, the monster whose uh, help point modulo k is uh, greater should be at first because as we have seen there, as we have seen there, first it comes k minus one, then k minus two, and so on. So, so, uh, so first, uh, if the, uh, this is not equal, then I am returning the monster whose uh, help point modulo k is higher. And if it's equal, then I am returning the monster whose index is lower. So once I am done with sorting, then I will uh, print this monster's uh, index, which is the second element of the pair. So after I am done with printing. Uh, see out uh, i'll see what i ended and uh, it's done so i hope you have understood the video and the explanation thank you for watching